Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and today I am on vacation. And so what I've decided to do is I will be in multiple different states and stopping in multiple different cities. Uh, my parents live in Iowa and then we'll be stopping in a couple towns in Illinois to visit some friends on the way to and fro <laughs> to my parents. And so what I decided to do is to check out the little free libraries in all of the different towns where we are stopping. So it's kind of like a little free library tour along with our vacation. And I have some books that I need to get rid of. So that kind of works out perfectly. So I have a stack of books with me. And first up, we're gonna check out the little free libraries in the town where my parents live. luck in Iowa at all with little free libraries so we're gonna check out some in Illinois we have a couple towns that we're stopping in that we're already planning on looking at the little free libraries so hopefully we find some good stuff right Claire
traveling. <laughs> And we did end up coming home with a few books from little free libraries. I feel like most of the ones that we looked at were duds, but there was one town that we stopped in that we ended up coming home with four books and I dropped off seven books that I need to get rid of. So I feel like that's a good, a good trade off there. I actually was able to get rid of some books. So the books that we ended up coming home with, one of them is this book, Fortune Falls, which I know that you can see in one of the videos because it's kind of like front facing. My daughter thought that this looked like a lot of fun. The author of this, Jenny Goebel, also wrote one of the 39 Clues books, which my daughter really enjoys. Another book that I found is one that I've been wanting to read for quite some time, and it's In the Year of the Boar and Jackie Robinson. And this is a book about a young girl who I believe is a Chinese immigrant, thus the Year of the Boar from like the Chinese Zodiac, and her experiences in America and learning about baseball and Jackie Robinson, maybe, I would assume by the title. I also got, I love this book, The Cabin Faced West by Jean Fritz. I just think that this is a great story. It's about a young girl who her family has moved away from a bigger city. I want to say it's either Philadelphia or Gettysburg during the Revolutionary War time period. And they moved away from a large city and decided that they wanted a homestead. And so it's been a difficult adjustment for her and so that's kind of what the story is about. And lastly was another book that my daughter was interested in getting which I've never heard of called The Dragon's Lair by Elizabeth Hayden and I don't really know what this is about other than that it's about dragons and my daughter loves everything that has to do with dragons right now so it was a no-brainer to pick this one up. I guess it's part of a series, The Lost Journals of Ven Polypheme, so I don't know what number this is. I'm hoping it's book one, but I didn't really do any research on that. So I guess we'll see. So those are the only books that we came home with from a little free library. I did a lot of thrifting while we were in Iowa, so I actually have a lot more books than this, but I'm not gonna share them in this video because this video is strictly for little free library haul and tour and all that. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the different little free libraries that we stumbled across on the way. It was really fun to check out kind of what they looked like in different cities. Some of them were really cute, some of them weren't. Some of them were really, really full. There was one that was like incredibly full and as it turns out, most of the books in there were the same book. So it came from a teacher in a classroom where they were studying this book. I could tell because it had the teacher's name on the pages of the book. So that was kind of interesting. But we found all of these little free libraries through the little free library app where you can actually type in your location or city or whatever and it will show all the little free libraries that are registered there. Although I did stumble across one in Iowa that was not on that list at all. I just happened to drive by it. So that was kind of cool. We found like a straggler. But I hope you enjoyed this little free library tour with us. We really enjoy little free libraries and think they're so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit like and also subscribe so you can continue to see more bookish content from me. And I will see you again next time.